Hey guys, it's Kix here, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you another one of my favorite 6 next texture packs. Now before the video begins, you guys already know the drill, according to YouTube statistics, pretty much none of you guys are subscribed, so if you could subscribe to the channel, like the video, and as well as join my Discord, uh, so we can hang out, that would be absolutely amazing. Anyway, I don't have much more to say uh, for this intro, so uh, let's just get on right to the pack. Video guys, so you guys can see we're in Notre Dame's pack ward right now, and we have the texture pack on. Uh, I should probably mention this, so this is actually Cheetah's pack, and it's a default edit. I can't remember when this was released, I think it was quite a while ago, but it is a very nice pack, and I don't really use it too much, so I thought I might uh, showcase it in a video. So uh, you guys already know the drill, over here is all the ores right here, uh, they're all default, uh, with some color variations, and of course they're outlined. Now, the outline on the ores, I really, really like. Uh, it's different from the normal standard, just one-tone outline you'll see on a lot of texture packs. Uh, it's got this kind of, I guess it's more like the actual ore uh, around the outside. I don't really know how to describe it. It just has more detail. Uh, one thing I might just comment on really quickly is the iron blocks right here are the old iron blocks. Uh, so everything else is a all the 1.14 textures. Uh, other than this, but I think it doesn't really change much. I still think it looks pretty nice. Okay, so coming over here, this is the kind of nature section, I guess you could say. And everything is pretty much default with the leaves and everything. Uh, the only thing that is different is, of course, the water. Uh, this clearer light blue water and the logs right here. Uh, you see these logs in a lot of uh, texture packs along with the water. Now, coming on over to the particles right here, guys. You can have a look at them right now. Pretty nice particles. I can't remember. You see these in a lot of kind of darker texture packs, I guess you could say. Uh, they still look nice in this one, and I can't really complain. Are uh, the skies right here. Uh, this one's green because, of course, Cheetah's theme is green and black. Uh, but they all look very, very nice. Uh, I do like these skies, especially this one. Uh, this one I was looking forward to. It is actually pretty sick. So uh, here is all the weapons. Now, these short swords are very short, and I really, really like them. Uh, they look very, very clean. You guys can see them right here. Uh, very, very nice short swords. I do like these. I like the color of the diamond across the whole pack. Uh, I think it's a really nice blue, and it fits well with all the other colors. Uh, you guys can see uh, matching Cheetah's theme, uh, the bobber on the fishing rod is the green and black. It looks pretty nice in my opinion. And here is the bow, nothing has changed about it. Okay, so here's the particles right now. Uh, very nice splash particles, I do like these. And honestly, I think he's done a good job, uh, the pack maker, on all these items. I think they look very, very clean. Now here is all the pearl and everything like that. Very nice. I do like... The, uh, the diamond coloring is also carried on over to the diamond te uh, texture right here. It looks very, very nice. Uh, and then you can see the fire right here. Now, before I get on into the inventory, it's probably hard to see. Uh, but you guys can see my crosshair right here is this tiny, tiny crosshair. But in my opinion, this looks really, really nice. And it's very, very fun to PvP with. Yeah, if you guys want to try this out, I would highly recommend. Because the crosshair is very easy to PvP with. It may seem difficult because it's so small, but it is very, very nice. And I would highly recommend it. Now going on over to the inventory, um, you can see Yen, the green and black aesthetic. Um, now a lot of people may not like green, which is understandable, but it looks pretty nice. Oh, the inventory is this clear inventory. Good, hearts are green, and there's nothing much more I can really say about it. Okay, so over right here is the armor. Now the zombies, you see this uh, zombie texture in a few packs as well. I haven't seen this in a long time, so it's always good. You see it's in a lot of old texture packs. Uh, here's all the armor right here, very nice. I do like this armor, especially the chainmail. It's pretty interesting, and it all looks pretty cool in my opinion. Now here is the food. Uh, I really like, everything else is mostly the same, except for a few of these items. So all the apples are the same, and there's just slight color variations in like the bread. Uh, and all this, there's just slight changes in the texture. I think they look really nice. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's very, very nice. I also like the uh, pies, the uh, golden apples, and the steak. I think they all look nice. Uh, and I like how they've kept the um, default texture, the 1.14 texture for the apples. I think they still look really nice with all the other ones. Here's a quick look at the weapons. I do like the uh, stone pickaxe, uh, kind of being tied on there because it's more of a... Um, worst tool uh, I guess you could say not really it's kind of scrapped together I guess and I like when texture packs do that uh, with the wood and the stone uh, all the inventories are the same here uh, nothing much different and the lava is I guess I think I believe this is just the same default texture for the lava anyway guys uh, that was the showcase of the pack uh, and I guess we'll just do some dual games that's what we normally do in these videos and uh, I'll see you guys on Hypixel
Right guys, so we're doing OP jewels uh, and first impressions. Uh, I've used this text pack before, but I haven't used it in so long. Uh, but it looks very, very nice uh, when fighting. Let's see if uh, I can actually start a combo on this guy. I did for like two seconds. Uh, is he going to use his rod? He's not. Okay. That's quite interesting, sir, uh, that you're going to use your bow at point blank right there as well. Uh, I don't think this guy's too experienced in the field of PvP, so this is probably going to be an easy win for us right here. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'm just kind of fighting this guy. You guys can take a look at all the particles and everything. I have particles normally off my videos, but I turned it on for this one. And he's out of the game, so I guess we'll do a few more radios. This is our second game. The other guy was uh, not that great. Uh, I don't know about this guy. Normally when I see someone with a cape, I think they're pretty experienced. But uh, considering this is just the migration cape that people are starting to get now, I'm not sure. He looks pretty good, to be honest. Uh, okay, I guess we can still start a combo on him. We just circled all the way around him. Oh my god. That head movement there was a little bit sus, buddy. Did you just like toggle hacks? Okay, so I should really be using my rod a bit more right now. So I'm going to heal up right here. Even though he's lower than me, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, that was kind of dumb on his end. And that was another quick game. I thought he'd be smarter than that. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, that was the pack showcase of one of my favorite default edits. Uh, I haven't used this pack in so long, and it was good to go back to it. Of course, make sure you guys check out the pack creator as well as Cheetah. Cheetah's a great YouTuber, and I'd also highly recommend downloading this pack if you enjoyed it in this video. Uh, I have nothing much more to say, so uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. I'm getting tired of all the things that I want to see my family, want to see my friends have been slept on like my name says, and I'm pretty far from being famous, but I sure as hell ain't nameless. I just take aim, I ain't aimless, and I let it fly like a spaceship.